Hi friends, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use CSV files with PHP. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert Excel file into CSV and afterwards how we can read that CSV data into PHP and we can in upload entire CSV file and data into the database later on if you want to. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I have a file called employees.xls. It sits in Excel format. So let's open it in Excel sheet, Excel. And here you can see this file. This file have four columns, uh, ID, name, designation, and salary. So what we want to do is to create a CSV file. So go to file menu and save as and here just select the format as text csv and name it as employees hit save and use the and okay so if you go back to command line and see the directory contents you will see that now we have a file called employees.csv so this is the first step the second step is to create a php code that can read this employees.csv and we can use that data wherever we want okay let's create the php code i'm going to use sublime text editor so sub csv dot php okay okay Here we are going to give the file name of CSV file and we are going to open it in read mode. So what this statement will do is it will open the employees.csv file in read only mode so it's available for reading in PHP. The second step is reading the file line by line using the PHP function fgetcsv and converting each row individually into an array that we call data. As you can see, fgetcsv includes reference to handle that we created in the above statement so in order to fetch all the records in the csv file we need to put this statement inside a while loop so let's create a while loop copy this and paste it inside the parenthesis and we need to run this until the file has ended okay so here we will read the data and the last step is to close the file so let's print the data here save it go back to command line and you can run it here by cli or we can run it in the browser so rnd slash csv and we have csv.php so here you can see we have fetched the data successfully from csv file but you can see the problem is it has printed in separate arrays so five records five arrays what if we want to organize all these rows into one array so let's do that go back to the code okay and we get uh, all records array and okay and we 
add each data array into this bigger array and after the while loop we can print the all records data array so go back to the browser and run the command line. here you can see now we have an array of arrays so this this is more bit useful when we are working with data or we want to uh, populate database with the csv file or import from excel file so one more slight neatness or improvement we can do is we can have the file name csv file name here uh, instead of here just cut it and paste it here and you can use it here so next time you want to use the script from some other file like students or teachers or whatever you want you can easily change it here instead of changing it in the code so let's go back and, and you can see it has the same results now that we have all the data in an array let's uh, display it in html applies data h1 and let's create a table close the table okay here we can have t head for the headings and th okay first one is employee id second one is name third one is designation and the fourth column is salary okay now we need to do the table body okay use the for each loop all records array as record okay close the php okay close the php loop here php okay and inside that loop we can have html tr that is row okay the first column is Oops, zero index close the php okay, just copy this one and second column third column fourth column okay so we have one two and three and here we close the row and i think that's it so if you want to give a style table you can do it here uh, okay you go back to the browser and you hit the same file you can see that we have something useful from the csv file so basically if you don't have a database or if you want to publish some data from an excel file on your website you can export that excel data into csv file upload it to your web server and you can use that data in your php page for the users so uh, that's it for this video see you next time thank you very much